In this video, I will continue to talk about the different types of hormonal contraceptives that are available for women. In the last video, I spoke about the oral contraceptive pill, and in addition to that, there is the combined transdermal patch, the combined vaginal ring, and progestogen-only contraceptives. The first two in this list are combined hormonal contraceptives, and the last one simply uses progestogen. The contraceptive patch is a small adhesive patch that uses both estrogen and progestogen to prevent pregnancy. It has to be applied to the body and can be placed on most areas as long as it's clean, dry and not very hairy. For example, on the abdomen, upper arm or the buttocks. A patch is kept on for 7 days, then a new patch must be used. This is done for 3 weeks and then during the 4th week, the woman has a patch free week. The combined vaginal ring works in a similar way to previously mentioned combined contraceptive methods. It is a small flexible ring that's inserted into the vagina and is worn for three weeks. Afterwards, it's removed for seven days. There are some women who cannot use combined hormonal contraceptives as this could be detrimental to their health. If a woman has any of the following factors, then she cannot use combined hormonal contraceptives. These are a history of thromboembolism, a history of cardiovascular issues such as ischemic heart disease or hypertension. Experiencing migraine with auras, having breast or endometrial cancer, blood disorders that increase the blood's tendency to clot such as thrombophilia. If the woman is pregnant, if a woman is 35 years old or above and she smokes, or regardless of age if she just smokes more than 15 cigarettes a day. If she has a body mass index that is greater than 40, if she has diabetes with vascular complications or she has liver disease. The progestogen only pill, also known as the mini pill, doesn't use oestrogen in order to prevent pregnancy. As a result, this means it can be used by a lot of women who are not able to use combined hormonal therapies. However, unlike combined hormonal therapies, they must be taken every day without a break. Not only that, but they must be taken at roughly the same time every day. There is about a three hour window around this, but every effort should be made to make sure the pill is taken at the same time every day. They are slightly less effective than combined contraceptives with a pearl index of about 0.3 to 0.4. They work by making the mucus thick and hostile, this is to prevent sperm getting into the womb, and in about 50% of cycles they also prevent ovulation. The contraceptive injection is a method which allows progestogens to be slowly released. Unlike the mini pill, they completely prevent ovulation, in addition to cervical mucus thickening. They last for about three months, after which the patient must go to receive another injection. They have been shown to decrease bone density during the first two to three years, after which there is stabilization. They may initially cause irregular bleeding, however, afterwards there is normally amenorrhea. Due to the nature of injections, it is important to know that the depot cannot be removed. So if there are any adverse side effects, the patient will have to bear with them for at least three months. The contraceptive implant is a small rod that contains progestogen. It is inserted subdermally using local anaesthetic into the upper arm. It lasts for about three years, but can be removed at any time by the doctor. And once removed, fertility should return fairly quickly. And unlike the injection, there is no loss of bone density. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.